Today I'm going to be sharing another dessert for the Croptober dish. Yeah, that's what it is. We're almost done. Um, with these crock pot things, slow cooker things, and um, yeah, I'll kind of be glad about that. And I think on November 1st is when I'm going to give you the information of what we think about all of it. Either the first or the second. We'll figure that out when the time comes. I'll let you know. Anyway, I'm making a fudgy peanut butter cake. I'm having to look down at the recipe because I couldn't remember exactly how it went. But it came from Taste of Home website, so I will link it down below. You need one third cup. It says 2% milk. I'm not using that because I don't have it. I'm not buying special. So one third cup of milk, one quarter cup of peanut butter, one tablespoon of canola oil, but I'm using olive because y'all know that's what I do. One half teaspoon of vanilla extract, three fourth cup sugar divided, one half cup of all purpose flour, three fourths teaspoon of baking powder, two tablespoons of cocoa, baking cocoa, one cup of boiling water, and then ice cream is optional. We're not doing the optional ice, what? We're not doing the ice cream. It's either chocolate or vanilla. We're not doing it because we don't have it and we're not buying it. It's fine. My thing is, I don't know if I should put this in my big slow cooker or one of the smaller ones or what because it's only four servings, but it looks kind of thin, so I'm going to put it in the big one, and we're going to hope that it's right, because it does not say, but the lady who, um, who contributed to Taste of Home with it is Bonnie Evans from Norcross, Georgia, and she said, I clipped this easy peanut butter cake recipe from the newspaper years ago. The house smells fantastic while it's slow cooking. My husband and son enjoy the cake with ice cream and nuts on top. So, we're not doing the ice cream though because we don't have any. Um, so I'm gonna get the camera down here and get it started. I got a bunch of stuff in the way first. I need to move it because I have this little thing that has my baking powder vanilla and all the baking yum yums in it. Well, not all of them, but some of them. So I really need to get that out of the way. But, um, yeah, let me get this organized a little better because I just looked down and got what? Okay, so I'm going to get my feeders in here because I'm supposed to have them just to beat the certain things together. And I did just notice something. There's no egg in this. So there we go. All right, so I'm supposed to beat together in a bowl, in a large bowl it says, the milk. Okay, so got the milk in there and I just turned on my little, um, is it on? Yeah, my little kettle. So y'all might hear it in a minute. I am not with it today, okay. <laughs> the peanut butter and the milk go in here and I'm hoping I can get this in here and start beating it together before that thing starts being obnoxiously loud okay and then the oil I need one tablespoon of that so three teaspoons I'm not going to get it done before it starts getting obnoxious. And the vanilla, which is one half teaspoon. And I'm going to beat this together and then I'll come back for the next part so that y'all don't have to hear that thing be loud. Which this is not extremely loud, but that is. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got that beat together and now I'm swapping to a smaller bowl that I'm going to be putting in one fourth cup of the sugar, the flour, and the baking powder. And then I'm gonna mix it into this. So, get the sugar, a fourth, that's a third, wrong one. So a third cup of the sugar and I will need more sugar so I'm gonna keep it out. And then I need one half cup of all-purpose flour. So I'm gonna get two of these because this is a fourth. 
it's odd mixing the sugar and the flour together. You normally don't do that because flour, I mean, sugar is usually considered a wet ingredient, but we're not gonna argue. Um, and baking powder, I need how much of that? Three fourths of a teaspoon, this is a half, so I'll do one and a half of these. It's a very small amount of cake, and I am really beginning to think that I maybe took out the wrong slow cooker. So, um, I'm just gonna kinda, I should have something up, there we go. I can mix it together with that. I'm gonna move this. I don't have much space here to do things, but I make it work. I mean, I've got plenty, but my kitchen's not huge. All right, so now, let me make sure I do this right. I've never done this before and it makes me kind of nervous. <laughs> I need somewhere to put this. I will put it in this measuring cup. All right, so I'm gonna gradually mix the baking powder mixture into the mix milk mixture. Until it's well combined, you mix this together. Woo! That was scary. Glad it was plastic I hit, not glass. Almost dropped the bowl. Okay, so that looks mixed. Come off there, please. I'll love you. Okay, I think that's good. That's about all I'm gonna get that way. But I wanna get all this I can off of here. Thing is, if anybody was here that wanted to lick the beaters, there's no raw egg in this, so it would be perfectly fine if you wanted to eat flour, sugar, butter, and uh, oil, and milk together. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a terrible combination if it's cooked. Okay. Get all that off that I can. I know I'm not going to get it all off. Move this out of the way. And I'm gonna unplug my mixer because I don't need it anymore. And I'm gonna plug up my slow cooker. I was preheating my slow cooker, but um, I stopped because I needed my, what do you call that thing? My plug. All right, so now, this is the part that's weird to me because you put this in the bottom. I don't, this is not gonna be big enough. This slow cooker is gonna be too big. It's gonna be too big. I know it is. It's gonna have, I don't know. We're gonna do it anyway and hope that it works out. It's probably, is it gonna be another fail? That's my problem. I really wish it told what size slow cooker. I've already sprayed this one and everything, but you know what, I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna take a chance of it being way too big. It'll be okay because I mean I can I can I can make it be alright. I mean I, I just waste a little bit of oil. Okay, spray that. Hopefully this is not a mistake. If it is, it's a mistake I made. Y'all let me know what you would do in this situation. All right, so, oh, it says a one and a half quart slow cooker. Oh no, this is too big too. And y'all can't even see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna scoot y'all over, I'm gonna scoot that over. We're gonna do it anyway because, oh my goodness, that's a tiny, oh dude, I just sprayed that one. Y'all, I got all my slow cookers out. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Um, all the, <laughs> oh boy, all the lids. Oh no, I've gotta wash all of these. This is what I'm doing, y'all. Okay, I got a 
paper towel that I am, I am not going to spray another slow cooker. I'm just not going to do it. So, <laughs> this is going to be tiny. This is a two quart slow cooker. Oh my goodness. This thing is, oh boy. Okay. All right. Let me move this one because this is wild and crazy. This is wash all the slow cookers day. Thankfully, I'm having a halfway decent back day. I don't feel like there's enough oil in there, so I'm going to spray it just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Now I'm going to spread this down in the bottom. And hopefully I'm not making a mistake. I was like, that is such a tiny amount. This is for like, this just doesn't even seem right. Does it? It doesn't seem right. Okay. We're putting it in there. We're doing the things that it says. And I'll be right back. This is wild. Okay. You know how you read something over and over and you still miss it all? That's what just happened. Alright. So, into this measuring cup, because that's what I'm using, I'm going to add the other sugar, which is a half cup. But I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to go ahead and pour the water, which is one cup of boiling water. It was boiling. It's still on keep warm. Turn off keep warm. We don't need to keep warm anymore. And a half of a cup of sugar. I'm just going to pour it into this because I can't remember what I dipped that in last time. This is a fourth cup measure. Oh, that is not. Y'all, I'll be all right. It's fine. This cake is confusing. Is it even a cake? <laughs> it's not that hard. Really, it's not. And two tablespoons of cocoa powder. I feel like today, because my back is not quite as bad, I feel like I'm zooming a little bit. And I'm going to regret it later. I feel like I really am. Because I know I'm moving too fast. I need to slow down. I need to consciously slow myself down. Okay. So, I'm going to mix this together. Stop. Alright, mix this together. And then, you pour it over the top of this and you do not stir. Okay. Okay. Are you completely mixed? I hope so. Pouring it over. Y'all can see that. Oh, that's weird. And then I'm going to let it cook for one and a half to two hours. And I, oh, it smells good already, y'all. It does. Put all my doodads in here. And I'll be back whenever that's done. Hopefully this is not bad. Okay, guys. It's been about an hour and 45 minutes or so. And this is the way it looks. Which, it looks dark. But then remember, it's chocolate. So, um, it said to do a fork. A, not a fork. I'm looking at a fork. Um, what is this thing called? A toothpick. It came out clean. So, I'm going to get me a piece of it. I'm not going to get a lot. And I'm going to come back and um, taste it with you. It smells delicious though, but it's not a lot, but that's okay. We don't need a lot. Okay, so I got my head chopped off a little bit. It's okay. Um, it says to serve it hot with ice cream, optional. I already said that part, but this is what it looks like on the inside. I'm trying to get it to, it's hot. <laughs> I don't want to touch it. Can you focus on it and not me? There you go, camera. That's what it looks like. It's kind of a little bit messy, but that's okay. Um, it smells so good. It smells like peanut butter and chocolate. I mean, and it's moist and it looks, it just looks good. I don't want it to burn me. <laughs> that's good. What does that remind me of? It kind of. It kind of reminds me of my mama's chocolate biscuit pudding that I haven't had in years. At least that's what it 
I'm thinking about. That's what my mind goes to. Could be because I've been talking about that. This is good. But, if you make it, you're going to have to double or triple unless it's for like just a couple people. Now, I think this right here, which is not much, it's maybe, it's not even a fourth of it. It's plenty for me. But some people might want more. But it's not too sweet. It's not too much chocolate. It's not too much peanut butter. This is something we're going to make again. It was easy. It's good. <laughs> and I like it a lot. So, I recommend that one. So if you want to make it yourself, I will leave a link for the recipe down below. I've never made a recipe like this before in my life with where you pour the water on. I've seen other people do it. Fallon has done it a lot of times. And I don't know if she's ever made this. There's some kind of fudge cake thing she's made. But anyway, I mean, I've watched every one of her, ve her vehicles. Videos? Y'all, I promise I'm okay. But um, maybe I'm just trying to talk too fast. But this is good. So I recommend it for sure. So... I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I do appreciate it. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. Share with a friend if you'd like to. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels. And be sweet.